When we are dealing with complex systems, such as the internet, which is an extremely complex system, it helps to define a structure, to identify elements and their relation so that it is easier to break down functionalities and design them for this complex system. We are interested in the services that could be offered through this complex system, and we can break it down into layered structure to be able to discuss and design this complex system. Let's discuss the layering with a day-to-day -day life example. Assume you want to send a package from your home address A to your friend's address B. You will use post office. You'll package what you want to send, put destination address on it, and leave it with the post. Post service here provides you the service of delivering your package to the destination. However, to deliver the service, Postal service needs office service, different types of pickup and delivery service, and overnight storage at different locations. Each of these has a specific service to offer, does it independently, and if an internal change for maintenance or upgrades happen in them, it does not affect the whole system. They all together provide the postal service. Each of these functionalities are different and are handled separately, relying on each other on layer services. But are there any situations where layering may be harmful? I will leave that question with you to think on for a while. Back to the discussion of the networks and the internet, we layer our system so that each layer implements a service through its own internal layer functions. Each layer relies on the layer below and provides services to the layer above. We refer to this layering structure in the context of networking as service reference model. Since the networking of the components are defined by protocols, we also refer to it as protocol stack which defines a set of protocols for the service each layer offers. The most famous reference model is the Internet Protocol Stack. It defines five different layers, application, transport, network, link, and physical layers. Let's go from the top to the bottom. Application layer provides the support for network applications. Email, web browsing, and file download are example network applications, and the application layer defines, for example, SMTP, HTTP, and FTP protocols to provide them. Transport layer supports process-to-process -process data transfer, TCP, or Transmission Control Protocol, and UDP, User Data Ground Protocol, are the main protocols in the transport layer. Network layer provides a support for finding the routes and sending the packets from the source to the destination. Internet protocol, IP, and routing protocols are among the network layer protocols. Link layer provides services to support transfer of data between two neighboring nodes, like an end system and a router, or two routers, Ethernet, 802.11 or Wi-Fi, and point-to-point -point protocol, or PPP, are examples of link layer protocols. Physical layer provides services on how to send and receive signals on the physical medium that we can interpret as bits for the higher layers. During the rest of this course, we will explore these layers, except the physical layer, from the top to the bottom and learn about the services they offer and protocols that make this happen. We will also analyze real-world traffic that can help us better understand the protocols in the Internet Protocol stack. Another service model let's in use now is a seven-layer OSI reference model. In addition to the five layers in the Internet Protocol stack, the OSI, Open System Interconnection Reference Model, has two additional layers, presentation and session. In this definition, both of these layers sit between transport and application layers. 
presentation layer is responsible for data interpretation, encryption and decryption, compression, and machine-specific conversions are among the responsibilities of this layer. The session layer is responsible for synchronization, checkpointing, and recovery of data exchange. The Internet stack does not have these two layers. If needed, the services within these layers are implemented in the application layer.